Hello. What I have here is a demand curve. Now, we're all faced with one of these. And what it shows is that if we knew how much we could sell at various prices, we'd find some sort of relationship like this. If we charge higher prices, we'll sell less. If we charge lower prices, we'll sell more. Uh, the trouble is most people don't know what this actual relationship looks like in the real world for their product or service. And the other thing is, what you don't know generally is whether it's steep, shallow, etc. Now, what that means is if it's a steep relationship, you could put your prices up, say, 10 percent, and you might only lose 5 percent of volume. So you'd be better off. Whereas if it's a shallow relationship, if you put your prices up 10 percent, you might lose 20 percent of volume and you'd be worse off. And that depends on how much you stand out from the rest of the market in terms of who could be your competition. So the more you make yourself different and unique, the less you're in competition and the more you can charge and you know make more profit. So then you start to think, well, what if I could actually charge more on average when people buy from me? Now, that, that may mean putting your prices up, but there's also 20 or 30 other different ways you can achieve the same thing by getting people to spend more when they buy from you. And the way it works is if you know your price and you know your volume, that will tell you your revenue. So here the price is 100, the volume is 1,000, your revenue would be 100,000. Your gross margin is how much you make on everything you sell. It's 40%. So therefore your revenue would be, your sorry, your gross profit would be 40,000. You know your overheads, which are fixed and don't change as you sell more or less. They're 20,000. That would tell you that your profit's 20,000. So what if you could charge 10% more on average, get people to spend 10% more on average and still retain all your customers? Now, if you did that, you would actually have a higher gross margin because your variable costs, the costs of making and selling these things or services, that hasn't gone up. It's just what you're getting people to pay you for has gone up. So you'll automatically have a higher gross margin, which means you'll make more gross profit and you'll still have the same overheads. And if you actually work the numbers through, your bottom line, your operating profit, instead of being 20,000, would be 30,000. So it's gone up 50%. So just charging 10% more on average by implementing various strategies to enable you to do that without losing any customers could increase your operating profit by 50%. So then you think, well, hang on, what's the worst case scenario, though? What if I did start to lose customers? Well, you've put your prices up 10 percent and it's tempting to think that you can only afford to lose 10 percent of customers or clients uh, to negate the effect of the price rise. But actually, it doesn't work like that. The way it actually works out is if you calculate the numbers, you could afford to see your number of transactions, your volume, if you like, fall from a thousand to 800 you could you could afford to see a 25% sorry a 20% drop in your volume and still make the same profit as you did previously and in fact you'd be better off because although you're making the same profit you're selling smaller volume which means you've got um you know less hassle less storage issues etc so actually and probably less time so you actually, even though your profit hasn't changed you're still actually better off in a lot of other ways so what I'm really saying is that even worst case scenario, if you were charging more and you lost some customers, then charging 10 percent in this instance, you'd still be able to afford to lose 20 percent of your customers before you start to see an adverse effect of putting your prices up. And generally, it doesn't work that way. Generally, what would happen is if you implement certain strategies and you edge your prices up, you probably won't lose any customers at all. So the, the um, message really is, do you know what your demand for your product actually looks like? Do you know whether it's a steep relationship, which means you can put your prices up and make more revenue or it's a shallow one? So if you're a commodity, it'll be shallow, not be like that. And if you stand out in the crowd, it will be steep. So the more you stand out, the steeper you can make this curve and therefore the more you can put your prices up. And then on top of all of that, unless you... Uh, lose a significant volume of customers or clients by putting your prices up, then, you know, you're probably better off by doing that. And there's all sorts of strategies you can put in place to make sure that you could increase your average revenue, your price coming in without losing customers or certainly without losing significant customers. And then one other point is the customers you did lose, worst case scenario, would probably not be your best customers anyway, because they would be the ones that were price sensitive 
uh, and therefore they would always be flakier anyway because they would always be likely to be attracted away to a cheaper price elsewhere so it's a really fascinating area of pricing and i think a lot of people it's just you know lick the finger and suck and see and hope for the best hope you found that useful thanks very much for watching